everyone, let's see the output of what we are going to do today. I hope it looks good. Without any further wait let's jump right into the video. I have the boilerplate code ready already to get started. And, the background image imported already. Now let me create a new file for navbar state full widget. Our next step is to create the animated icon, which transition between menu and close icon. Okay, for the animated icon to work, we need to provide a progress animation, for which we have to create an animation controller, and a tween animation which runs in between 0.0, .0 to 1.0. Right. Let's see how it works until here. I will replace the placeholder widget with the row widget, placing navbar inside it, so that you can add whatever widget you want at the right side. Now let's add the untap functionality to the animated icon using the inkwell widget. Then let me create a variable to store the status of whether the nav bar is open or closed. Next we will also use this variable to determine whether to forward or reverse the animation of icon as well. Okay it works fine now. But still I cannot see the splash effect when I click on it. So let me wrap the inkwell widget with the material widget to achieve this. Now it looks better. Okay, usually we use circular, let's see how that looks. This is fine, but if you see the output, the black bar shape is a little bit different. It looks more elliptical than circular. So now we will replace the circular with elliptical, and provide x and y axis values. Now it looks more similar. It looks awesome now. So to make it look like it appears from the left, first we need to add fade transition, which can be easily achieved by animated opacity widget. Then we need to wrap all of these widgets with the animated position widget, so that it will actually comes in from the left. Now it looks exactly like the output. To give it a finishing touch, we will add curves to the animation. Important note is to use the same curves in all the three places. Out next step is to create navbar model to hold all the navbar element titles. 
and to store the hovering state of it. We also extended this with change notifier, so that whenever there is a change in the hovering state it will notify the listeners. In order to listen to the changes of the navbar model, we have to use listenable builder. Then we have to provide navbar model object to the listenable parameter. The titles are not showing because the default color of the text in Flutter is black, if you look closely you might see it. Our end result should have a white text and it should animate to a lighter white when it is not hovered, that is why we are using animated default text style widget, which helps us to animate the text. Note, not many people knows about this awesome widget. So our conditions are when the hovered title variable is null, all the titles should be white, and when any title is hovered it should be white and rest of them which is not hovered should be white 60. Now nothing seems to be changing because we are not changing the state of the hovered title variable yet, let's do that using mouse region widget. If you see here, when I am not hovering, every title is white, and when I hover any particular title, it will become white and make rest of them less whiter. Our next challenge is to make the titles appear one by one from the left. To achieve this let me create a separate state full widget called entry animation, which will handle this animation with a delay for every titles.
that's it people. I hope you enjoyed this video, any doubt or feedback please leave a comment below, your appreciation and feedbacks are most welcomed. Thanks for watching. Have a peaceful rest of the day.